guys welcome back to the channel I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today I had been working on a rug made from old sheets and I was working on it for quite some time just here and there it wasn't like it's not hard it's just I can get bored easy and it was pretty big it is a three by four foot rug and it's all like I said made from old sheets so in this video I decided that I would show you how I done it how I did it however I've already finished the rug so I did take some video when I got near the end of the rug to show you how I finished the rug how it looks but what I'm gonna do today is show you how to warp the loom and I did make the loom smaller because a three by four rug is nice but a lot of work way too big and a lot of sheets I'm not even sure how many sheets it took actually maybe it only took like six sheets not really sure I'll count it up I'll let you know when we are at the end of the video how many sheets there were pretty much involved I mean I didn't count them a few pillowcases involved too but anyway Sadie's here with me she is probably not gonna help much no however she does like to get the sheets and chew on the ends of them while I'm using them right Sadie oh right mommy <laughs> all right well let's get started and I'll show you how to warp the loom okay so here's the loom it got shrunk to about three feet by two feet still a nice size hopefully it's still not too big but anything smaller would be more like a placemat but so this is we've just made the loom out of like one by ones maybe and these screws and these screws are finger there about a finger a little less than under two finger widths apart um, and then they match at the bottom obviously so and then what we'll do is I have a dowel and I'll put the dowel in here and I will actually hook it with one of those plastic things whatever they're called ties those little plastic ties so kind of in a tight space so it's hard to get a good look at the whole loom so that's a homemade loom. You can buy looms. You can go online on Amazon on, on Google and find looms, but they were kind of expensive and I really wasn't sure how far I was going to take such a project, but it they turned out really nice. So anybody um, that gets Christmas presents from me might be getting a homemade rug for Christmas. I don't know. Okay. So just to show you, I put the rods on the dowels actually where you, I'm using dowels because frugal like that these are like a dollar at Lowe's maybe cheaper and then I just put the twist ties around them so I put them on the ends with the twist ties and I'll show you why when we start working the loom okay so I have the sheets cut them to about an inch an inch and a half maybe that's just an inch it doesn't really matter an inch or an inch and a half is probably good and you can see on these sheets I actually pinked use the pinking shears because when I was doing the rug I realized well I had done most of the rug just tearing the sheet so what you do is you get the sheet you get about an inch inch and a half cut it and rip the sheet it'll rip down real nicely just rip the sheet but when I was doing the rug I did most of it that, that way however I got to some cheaper sheets and they were fraying really bad and I didn't like all the little frays and the, the strings because they were, it was really bad. So I just sat down and took the sheets I had left and used the pinking shears on it. Um, it still frayed a little bit on the cheap sheet, but I just watched TV and cut, no big deal. So I'm gonna show you how to make the material for your first warping or your warping of the loom. So what we'll do is we'll take two pieces of material together. I got two separate ones here together. Put them together and then you fold the end just a little bit just over your finger like that and then just snip it a little snip it just a little bit and open it back up you now you have two holes. Okay so then what you do is you take your material flatten this one out like this and lay this one on top of it so now you have it like that and take the end 
and you bring it up hope you can see that bring it up through the hole I'll show this a few more times in the videos and then just pull it tight and then what you have is you have a full piece of material without a knot without making a knot it kind of looks like a knot so I'll do that again so I'm going to take I take the end that I just did and then I'm going to take a new one I'm going to place them together fold it slightly like that and cut a little slit on the top then I'm going to take the material and lay them flat together flat, and then lay this one flat Stick my finger up through both those little holes I just made. That one's a little tiny. Take the end, oops, take the end of the one, the new one, not the one that you've already linked, and pull it in from underneath. Make that hole a little tiny. And then just pull it through. And then just kind of tighten it up and then it makes a nice little thing so what you need to do is just kind of keep on going and I don't know make like a little ball get like maybe about 10 of them together and then we will go to the loom and we'll show you how to warp it so I have my all in a ball so you take the ends and make a slip knot in the end few fingers width here tighten it up don't worry about the extras actually I think I'm just gonna cut see I have this extra hanging here I'm just gonna cut a little bit so I don't have a lot of hanging all right so let's go over to the loom all right so I hang it around the around the first thing you see I have a few which is important so push this in here and come all the way down to the first one here move the rod out of the way a little bit and some tension you want some tension it needs to be tight and then come back up around and we're going to go on the second and then back down and Okay, so now we're going to start the loom, the rug. So I have one piece of material, and I'm going to fold it in half, so the ends meet. And then I'm going to make it one shorter, one end shorter. About that much shorter. Now it's hard to see. Then we're going to start, maybe even shorter than that, maybe just a half of the half. And I have the peg here, and then remember we had our little loop holes. So we're going to go 
around the peg and through the loop hole. So we took one end, we still got two ends here, one shorter than the other. We went around the peg and in the hole. And pull up on it because you want it tight. Because when you take this off, you're going to have a little bit of material where the pegs were, and then all of your material can spread out and they won't have any little loops up there. So now I'm going to take this hand, it's going to go over this one and under the peg also. and into the loop. So basically we have both of them on around the peg and through the loop. Pull it kind of tight. This hand is going to go over the other piece and this piece is now going to go under the other side of the loop. And pull, it pull it kind of tight. Now this piece, this hand, is going to go over this one and this one is going to go under the first side of the next. And we're going to continue to do that. So this one's going to go over and then this one is going to go under. Over to here and then this one goes under. over and then this next one under so we're going under these once you get the first row done you see a pattern and it'd be easier and we will change colors also so you're not working with the same color so under so you're gonna go this way twist them over and then under over the top, and then this one will go under the next one. Over, and then under. One goes over, and then we're going to go here to this first one, and go under it. Over and under. Over and then this one's under. So I'm going to get it kind of short. When it gets real short, I'll attach another piece like we were doing with the bending and the cut. Attach another piece and keep going the same way. And when this one gets done, I will attach a different color to it. At the moment, I don't have any uh, sheets. Of a different color that I want to use. I'm just thinking I could also use t-shirts, old pajamas, shower curtain, you know the cloth ones. Right now I don't have any of those that I'm wanting to cut up so I'm gonna set this aside. Um, you can go to the Goodwill, find some cheap material to make this carp this rug with. Uh, I need to go through some of my closet. I probably have some t-shirts I can use, but you can use any material like that. But I'm going to stop here with this and pick up on the video of the one I've already completed um, where it's three quarters of a way done and then finish it out. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them for you, but let's continue with the video from the project that's already been completed. All right, I've been trying to work on this rug for a while. I kind of got bored, tired of doing it. So it's been sitting. So I'm going to finish it and then I'm going to make the frame a little smaller.
And so I might as well show you how I, I'm going to come to the end of one I take another fabric and lay it on top, match up the ends, and then just fold it over about a finger width fold. And I'm just going to cut a little slit right here. Just cut a little slit right there. Not even that big. Just don't stick your finger through. And then I'm going to put my finger through this one. And I'm going to take the end of this. Because it's fabulous cut. And I'll pull it up through the hole. And pull tight. Sometimes I cut off a little bit of this excess. But that's pretty tight. And you made yourself a whole new string. So I'm getting to the corner. So how I'm doing this is closer. over the one, and then this one is going to go under, and then I tighten it up a little bit, and this is going to go over, and then since I'm on the last one, this one's going to go behind this rod, the rod's there to hold tension. And we'll pull it all the way through the rod, pull it tight, not too tight, but tight. And then since now in the beginning, again, this one is now going to be the over. And then I'm going to take this one back under the rod and pull it. So now this one's the over. Over and then under the And over, and then under. All right, guys, it's the end of the project. There is the final project. I'm really liking this rug. Just a few things to point out that I did not mention in the video is when you start your loom, what you want to do is start from one end and get halfway through right about there, flip your loom over and start there. That way you're ending in the middle. And to end it, you would just tie off the material. And to show you what I was talking about earlier is there's where it came off the pegs and the material will actually expand and those, those loops will be gone shortly here when the material starts stretching out. The other thing I wanted to point out, what I should have done is I had a solid color and I did the same on that end. But I really liked how I mixed the colors there a little bit better. In the next rug, I'm going to be mixing the colors versus doing the solid color. Otherwise, I really like it. It should wash up really nicely in the washer, and I am happy with it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will answer any questions you may have. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe and the bell to get notified of new videos. So we will see you on the next one.